am Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, Foundation Fridays are back. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Every Friday, I like to review foundations. But if you are an OG subscriber, you already know the deal. But what we do on Foundation Fridays is I get a new foundation, I apply it on camera, show you how it looks and everything. Then I come back at the end of the day and show you how well it lasts on my very oily skin. Now, if you are an oily skin person like me, I already know all your struggles. You look beautiful for the first 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and then like an hour later, it looks like you just went on a mild jog, but all you did was brush your teeth. So I really strive to find foundations that will last all day long so we don't look like a greasy hot mess. Today's video is sponsored by Sephora Inside JCPenney, and oh, let me tell ya, did I have fun. Don't you just love how it comes in like a little gift bag? It's like, happy birthday to me! And it's not even my birthday. So I went a little makeup crazy, but I mean, when you go to Sephora inside JCPenney, you're not just gonna buy one thing, right? If you also wanna do some shopping at Sephora inside JCPenney, keep watching because you might just win your very own gift card. So let me show you what I got. Now, as a sneak peek, I did go a little ham in the foundation department. So I did get the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Heard great things about that one. I also got the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation. I've heard really great things about this keeping your skin matte. Let me know if you guys have tried it. And the one I'm probably most excited about is the new Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 hour foundation. This is a big deal because as some of you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. My favorite foundation for oily skin is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation. Now, although it's called hydrating foundation that might scare us oily skin people, but this literally just lasts all day. I've worn this in humidity, on vacation, hours after hours after dancing, and I can come home looking like I just applied it 30 minutes ago. So when I heard that Smashbox has a sister that's full coverage and it says weightless feel, oil and shine control, like those are all of my favorite oily skin fighting words that I wanna see on a package. And fortunately it is sold at Sephora inside JCPenney, so that is what we're gonna be trying on today. Now what I didn't even know is that you can go in and get color IQ matched. What that means is they have this little like contraption, they put it right on your skin and it will actually tell you the shade of foundation that you need. What it's gonna do is gonna take three pictures of your skin and it's gonna come out with the number and then the number we put in our system and tells us that. Oh, cool. Where there isn't any So she got two Y09. And then this is our color cue. Press on it. Two Y09. Enter. Foundation. And Ooh. these are your matches. Very cool. Genius, right? How many times have you gone looking for makeup and there's like a huge 50 shade foundation range and you're like, I have no idea what color I am. Well now, a beauty advisor could just color match you and then it could tell you exactly what foundation shade you are in every foundation in the store. Super easy. Now, even if it doesn't give you an exact match, it really gives you a great starting point so you could try on that foundation and say, hey, I wanna go a little bit darker because summer's coming or a little bit lighter because I know winter's coming. Whatever it may be, it really helps you choose the perfect foundation color. But without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour full coverage foundation. All right, let's get started on this face. It is clean and moisturized, and now it's time to prime. I have two really good mattifying options here. I have the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. This is supposed to be really good for mattifying oily skin. But then I have the new Fenty Beauty. This is called the True Matte Pro Filter Primer. Oh, I want to try both of them, but because the Fenty is newer, you guys might be a little more excited to try this one. So let's go with Fenty today. This is the newest addition to the Fenty Primer Collection. She had one before that was probably better for normal skin. But because my skin is so oily, I just needed something more. So I'm hoping that this next level True Matte Primer will be the answer to my problems. 
All right, let's get started. I am using a beauty blender to apply my foundation. I'm using the shade color 3.35, medium dark with a warm undertone. Now let's check this coverage. Fortunately, I've got a couple little blemishes, dark spots, so we can really try to conceal since it is full coverage. So let's apply just a little like dollop. Let's see how far that goes. It's gonna go there. Wow. That will cover some imperfections for you, all right? This is definitely a lot thicker and creamier than the original Studio Fix foundation. But if you were looking to really hide some scarring or imperfections, this is going to be great for you. That little dot did almost my entire face. I'm gonna use a little dollop more for the forehead and my nose. Out of curiosity, let's see how well this covers my dark circles. By the way, this foundation is one fluid ounce and is $36. Look at that. Before, tired, restless, stressed. After, everything's fine. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face. Much better. So as you can see, the full face has definitely come together and my makeup is looking flawless, like total full coverage, but it doesn't feel like heavy or cakey. It just looks like I don't have pores. So it is currently 4 p.m. I'm going to wear this foundation for as long as possible, come back at the end of the day and show you how I look. And I'm back. It is currently... 12.37 a.m. That means I've had this foundation for a total of eight and a half hours. So I didn't quite make it to 24 hours, but I think this is good enough. So as you can see, I do have some definite shine on my face. But remember, this is the most extreme circumstances of eight hours without blotting or touching my face at all on extremely oily skin in these super duper bright lights. So besides the shine, let's analyze the rest of the skin. I do think everything is still in place. I'm still getting full coverage. It's just a little extra glowy. But at this point, the main test for me is to see if I can blot and if it looks good after. So I'm gonna grab an oil absorbing sheet and let's just blot and see what happens. I'm gonna do one side. Now this side looks amazing. Here is all the oil that came off of my skin. I do see some foundation on here, so it's a little bit of transfer because it probably raised from the oil. But out of curiosity, I wanna try blotting my face with powder. So I'm gonna grab my Laura Mercier powder, tap it on a brush, and let's just blot this down. Let's let all the powder suck up the oil. So that works too. So I just wanted to give you guys some options on how to get rid of some of that shine. So now I'm good as new. Let me give you guys a close up. This is my skin now. A nice, glowy, full coverage finish, even after eight hours of wear. Now this is how well it worked on my extremely oily skin. But if you have normal or dry skin, I do think that this will work even better for you. Now keep in mind, I also tried a new primer today, the Fenty True Matte Primer. So I wanna to continue to use this foundation and the primer separately with different foundations, different primers, to see which combination works best. If you wanna see me continue to use different foundations and primers, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. You get quicker updates in my story. And don't forget to enter the giveaway for your chance to win a $50 Sephora Inside JCPenney gift card. Comment below in this video, comment on Instagram for your best chance to win. If you enjoy my Foundation Fridays, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday, once on Sunday. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.